So now we're going to continue with more iron meteorites. I have a piece of the Gibeon meteorite here from Namibia. This is actually one of the largest meteorite um, finds that we have on the planet. And um, it's a strewn field, so a several hundred kilometer wide strewn field. And uh, many pieces of it were found. And uh, the local people have already used uh, the metal from this meteorite for making weapons many, many hundred years before it was officially discovered in the 1830s, in 1836, I think. But of course, it was known long before that. And um, it's a lovely iron meteorite. It's got uh, Wiedmannstetten patterns on the inside, and it's reasonably high in nickel and also especially high in cobalt and in phosphorus. So this would be a great catch if we could get a large lump of this in the asteroid belt and somehow manage to bring it here because it would have a lot of these elements that we are after these days. So let's have a little look at it. Here's a piece of the Gibeon meteorite and uh, here we have the outer crust. This is uh, part of the um, 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 <clears throat> abrasion crust and then of course here we have the interior and uh, these slightly rusty batches here they are the uh, troilite inclusions and uh, the meteorite uh, is prehistoric so we're not entirely sure but it um, it's a find so we don't know how long it's been on the planet and uh, therefore some rusting probably did occur. The um, Wittmannstetten patterns are visible so you can kind of see them here and let me try to kind of move it a little. Now I'm going to turn it around. The other side is less photogenic. It's not uh, treated with acid in the same way and uh, there we see the cut marks. And um, I also have a little magnet here, so I could put the magnet there, and of course it hangs and uh, it doesn't roll off. So, and um, I'll afford you a last look from the other side. But uh, this is the rather famous Gibeon meteorite, and uh, this would be one of the prime materials we would target if space mining would become a reality.